YouTube, today I'm going to be teaching you guys five tips on how to win every single short engagement slash gunfight in Call of Duty Warzone. Let's go. All right, you guys, so anyone that hasn't been to one of my tip videos before, I'm going to be just doing it in multiplayer here in Modern Warfare because it has the same engine and everything as Call of Duty Warzone. You can transition this to any weapon within Cold War, but as we know, the engine from Modern Warfare 19 in Warzone is exactly the same, and it's going to stay that going forward into Call of Duty Vanguard. They announced that when they announced the game this week. So... Everyone always asks me on stream, how do you win so many short range gunfights? How do you have such a high KD? Well, the most important thing in Call of Duty Warzone in general is short range engagements. And that's why so many pro players are so good. You never really see people fighting at long, long range. It's usually medium range to short range. So once you master that, your KD is going to start soaring. So before I jump into the five tips today, make sure you guys do drop a like on today's video if this does help you guys out at all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so I can at least know what I'm doing. Like, do you guys want to see more of these tip videos? Do you guys want to just keep seeing gun gameplay videos? What do you guys want to see? I know you guys love Tier List Tuesday already. So let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. And then comment below, guys, what you guys think I could add to these or what would you like to see to make these even better? So appreciate the heck out of you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, you guys, editor Rick here, and this video is going to have no gunfire audio. I totally turned it off because of the map that I was using. Hackney Yard had a train going by there in the intro. Forgot to turn it back on. So this whole video, it's not going to affect the video at all. I'm going to play a little bit of music in the background so you guys can enjoy it. But just when I'm shooting bullets, you're not going to hear any bullets. We're not actually making any gunfights in this video. So it's just a straight up tip video. It's not going to affect the video. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's go. All right, you guys, so we are in Modern Warfare Multiplayer, and we're going to be doing tip number five here. So first tip I have for you guys today is know your weapon. So when you go into a short range engagement, you need to know exactly what weapon you're using. Right now, I have two different short range weapons for you. I have a shotgun and I have a submachine gun. So a submachine gun, obviously, you can aim down sights. You can aim like this. A shotgun, you're really never going to aim down sight. Like, why would you ever do that? Because it shoots pretty much the same, even if you're jumping or anything like that. When you're shooting like these, it's a little bit harder to control ammo going in the same direction and all that stuff. But we'll get to that a little bit further on. But you want to know what your weapon does and how you have your weapon built. So this one is a perfect example here today. The Modern Warfare MP5. In my opinion, it's the easiest SMG in the game to use because look at that hip fire radius. It literally is straight ahead. Like you can literally hip fire from here and it's in a straight line. Like you got to take advantage of that hip fire. So when I know my gun here, if I'm coming in to say a corner here in Warzone, I open a door and this guy here, just start hip firing. Just like send it. You know, there's going to be someone there. Hip fire. And then another tip to go with the hip firing is you come around the corner, start hip firing, and then you can aim down sight. Nothing is stopping you from shooting. Like you can just come around the corner and keep shooting. There's nothing stopping you from going shooting, 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 aim down sight and shooting. That's a number one tip I would say is huge for people. They don't start shooting soon enough. You have to use at certain points in time. You're going to have so much knowledge in this game. Once you get enough time under your belt, it works for multiplayer and it works for war zone where in a, there's a point where you know there's going to be someone there and you know it needs to happen. So when I come around this corner here, I know I'm fighting. So it's like start shooting before they can because they might not know you're there yet. Every second counts in Call of Duty Warzone in any multiplayer gunfight. So that's going to be tip number five, guys. Just use your gun and know your gun. And then I threw on that little bonus there at the end. So let's go on to number four. Number four today, guys, is going to be movement. So we obviously have there's very simple movements in Warzone. You have slide cancel and you have jump shots. That's basically a skill gap. Like there's not a whole lot to it. When you're in short range gunfights, the highest skill cap tip I can give you is you want to jump shot while you're shooting. So you're hitting more headshots because most of the time, if you're aiming for say, say this door is like his head's like right here. He's you're aiming chest level here. If you're shooting jump shots, you're going to hit more headshots. A lot of people don't know that and don't notice that when you're breaking down, say you're watching Biffle on stream or Super Evan on stream. You're like, how are these guys so good? Even like Symphony Tifu, any of the really big names, like 
that they're doing these little things and you're not breaking it down you're just watching it happen and be like wow these guys are playing against bots all day blah 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 it's like yes they are playing against bots but they're taking advantage of those games like they are absolutely destroying kids based on every simple little movement and then they go along with movement coming around the corner here jump shot them a little jump shot action i've never done a movement guide tutorial for you but like you, if you can get around this corner in so many different ways slide cancel around the corner you can come around the corner normally you can slow peek it you can jump shot b hop like there's 18 different things you can do on a single corner so if you use every bit in environment that you can to use your movement and like you can you can even come around corners and then get back out like if you don't feel like you're winning that gunfight reset it like you see it in cdl all the time they come around a corner and they go oh, i don't want that fight yet like if you know there's someone there and you're like oh that guy's got a beat on me like let's let's change this fight up a little bit so that's gonna be number four guys use your movement number three today guys is gonna be use your resources and what i mean by resources is stun grenades art beat sensors that's pretty much your two resources that you're gonna get on a daily basis in warzone so right now i have stun grenades if i know someone's in here wham bam it hits them bam easy gunny like everyone knows how op stuns and flashes are in this game that thing just blew up and had no idea that was gonna happen from throwing a, a flash or stun whatever that was like i'm pretty sure it was a flash from the sound of it but you guys know how op the flashes and stuns are in this game use them to your advantage and it's basically a free kill. That's why you see so many people like TP at every single day. He is a stun player, but you have to get used to running stuns. Like I am personally a heartbeat player. Tommy is a heartbeat player. When you're running heartbeat, you just use it. You go up here and you scan your heartbeat. I don't have it out right now because I don't have it on this class, but like you find out someone's right here and then voila, we're, we're gunning. Like it kind of goes along with that tip number one. Like you just need to use everything that you can to your advantage because there's so many times where I'll be playing with someone from my stream or one of my buddies and i'm like dude you got a stun grenade why don't you throw it there you're dead now like what's the point of the stun grenade if you're dead and they're like oh yeah you're probably right i should have thrown that you need to use all your resources at any given time so that's tip number three all right you guys and number two here today it's gonna be a little vague like this is a high level tip for you guys so say you're in a team of four you already fought one of the guys and the first time you beat them you just did like a typical like shot on him like you beat him the first time like easy do like easy peasy just just did a normal like just outgunned him like around a corner like you came in here and you just freaking bam bam you you whooped him teammates are gonna be coming after you so when the teammates are coming after you you want to make these fights different so each teammate you run into do something a little bit different it keeps your mind going it keeps you fresh it also will just keep you on point in my opinion the way my body works if i do the same thing over and over yes you should be better at it for, for me in my mind it's like okay you did it last time but now i might just be a second off like i might just be a tad slower so i beat this guy like this the first time why not this time why don't i throw a drop shot in there just throw a little bit something different in I, I did that last time let's throw a b-hop in here like there's so many different things like you can do something different in every single fight slide into them hip fire them do so many different things like my in my opinion the hardest thing to do in warzone is fight someone that knows exactly what you're going to do i think that's the best way to word it you don't want that person to know what you're gonna do in any single gunfight because you're telling like when you run into like a bot lobby you know like exactly how like one kd and under players run if you are like someone like me who's a 2.5 kd you drop high kill games like i can see from all, all the way across the map like when i see this person i'm like all right this guy's probably a bot like it's pretty easy for the most part to tell and that's how you see people drop 50 kill games and stuff like that because they do everything so perfect that they can make and take advantage of those so i have the highest kill game of like 28 kills so in my opinion, I do it pretty well. I could probably do this step even better for myself, but just be unpredictable. Be different every single time you're fighting someone because if you do the same one tip over and over again, people are gonna pick up on it. It's not gonna work for you every single time. Like just be inconsistent, be different, and then make those inconsistencies consistent for you. So like not every time you're gonna have to whip around like that. Like not every single time you're gonna be doing this. Not every time you're gonna be slide canceling master every bit of this game and just take advantage of it to your full bit of abilities like anyone can do it it's a video game you put your time into it practice it and you guys can master it let's go on to the last tip here and then last but not least guys 
You guys might think this is troll, some of you guys, because I would bet about 90% of you guys already do that, that play Call of Duty. But plug in a controller. As everyone knows from this channel, if you guys have been around for about the last month, month and a half, maybe two months now, I have switched to playing about 50, 50, eh, probably like 70% mouse and keyboard and this 30% controller. And as a 2.5 K KD on mouse and keyboard, which it's probably higher than that technically if I get in like actual details, like I use a different loadout every day for you guys. Like I could probably be pushing like a three at least KD if I use like the same loadout every day and like really played for KD. It'd be really easy to get to a three, maybe even push up to like a 3.5 KD. But I'm not even kidding. I've been playing on this for, I probably have a day play time, maybe a day and a half play time on a controller here, which granted I was a controller player and a very high controller player at one point in my life. Like I used to get the highest rank in World War II, the best ranking system they ever had. I played against Mutex for 10 years ago. I played against that guy and like everyone thinks he's a cheater now. It's like, no, this guy's absolutely just cracked at the game. I used to be pretty good on a controller. I'm not as good as I used to be. I'd probably say I'm probably like half the player I am on a mouse and keyboard compared to, or on a controller compared to a mouse and keyboard. But I would say on a controller, I'm gonna beat myself on a mouse and keyboard nine out of 10 times. Aim assist is so strong in this and on this at least, at least this the engine. I think at some point that we might see a nerf to PC, like on console, like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with aim assist. I think aim assist is something that needs to be in the game to compete. Like mouse and keyboard would just be way stronger if aim assist wasn't a thing. It just wouldn't be physically competable. Like it just has to be that way. But it's so strong up close. Like give me my mouse all day in like a medium long range situation. I will beam someone 90% of the time. But dude, this thing, you just lock on to people up close. Like you can't just like... On a mouse and keyboard, you can like overshoot someone like super easy and just miss a couple bullets. With this, when you hit someone and it locks on, say this pulls the person, it just locks you there. Like you try to go past it and it brings you back. Like it's really hard to miss shots. Obviously, it's all about preference at the end of the day. I'm not telling you to switch if you're a mouse and keyboard player. I'm not telling you anything. There's a reason why I play mouse and keyboard. It's I just think it feels better to me. I have like I used to get hand issues from playing controller too much. There's a lot of things that go into it, but truly at the end of the day, close range engagements on a controller are broken in Warzone right now. And that's no hate to controller players. It's no hate to mouse and keyboard players. It's just how it is. If you really wanna get proficient and better at this game, you need to master the controller. And I think it is something that I would love to do eventually is make that transition, but I've had, just, I've, like I said earlier, I've had issues with my hands in the past when I play controller too much. Like I played baseball at a very high level in college. So like after all the years of playing in like controller and baseball and just so much abuse on my hands, they get really tight after a while of playing controller. So mouse and keyboard, I have no issues, which is surprising because I work an eight hour a day job typing. Like literally all I only do is type all day and they don't hurt. So keep knocking on wood for me, but I really hope that they do make a change to that at some point in Warzone just for like the balance of it. But as of right now, a controller is just so strong. And I'm not being a troll or anything like that. Like I said, I no hate towards anyone, but it's just really easy to win gunfights on a controller up close. But I hope this helps some people out today. I know the last one really isn't like a ginormous tip, but I do think it is something that need to be stated in a short range engagement. Cause like a lot of people just want to blame people for cheating, but like legitimately aim assist, like sometimes like, I, like I said, I'm nowhere near as good as I am on a mouse and keyboard as I am on a controller. And I'll just go around a corner and this thing will just lock to their head. Like, it's insane. Like, I'm not even saying, like, like I don't even think aim assist needs to get, like, nerfed. They just need to, like, adjust it or something. Like, it's like, I swear, it just goes to head sometimes. And it's so easy to win those engagements. And that's why you see about 90 to 95% of pro players in Warzone are controller players. So, I appreciate this anyone that did hang around and watch this video today i hope you guys did enjoy it if it did help you guys out remember to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and a comment below guys love y'all i will hopefully be making more guides like this in the future as long as we get some solid viewage on it i know that it's something that i enjoy coaching wise i grew up playing sports like i said earlier i played college baseball i played all kinds of sports it's always something that i love to do is teach people things so these videos are really fun for me to make I hope you guys did enjoy it. Have a wonderful rest of your day and peace out.